Fighthype.com here with the man who I will from now on refer to as Simply Smoke because he is it and don't nobody want it. My man, multi-division world champion Shakur Stevenson. Shakur, what's popping with you, bro? I see you got a towel around your neck. I see you look like you was just in the gym. Yeah, I'm just leaving the gym. I, I, I just got my workout in. Um, please excuse my voice. I lost my voice over the weekend with uh, Bud. I'm um, screaming at the fight the entire fight, but uh, you know I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Just got out of the gym. That's what's up, yo. I'm gonna I'm get I'm gonna get to that fight in in just a second. So much has happened between you know now and the last time I talked to you. Like I'm I'm not really sure where to start. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of work backwards. Um, but um, first first of all, let me let me just start by saying Shakur smokes Stevenson. I kind of like that triple S. I like that. I know you ain't got a nickname, bro, but you might want to think about trademarking that and uh, getting 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 your papers in order. I I, I really like that smoke. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I feel like um, with my nickname, it gotta like it gotta it gotta be something like when it gotta come to me the right way. Like when it comes to me the right way, and I feel it, that's when it's gonna happen. So, oh yeah. uh, nah, that's that sounds cool though. I, I like it. I like it though. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, let's get let's get right into it. Obviously. The uh, latest news with you was um, you got in a little work with Floyd Mayweather. You, I, you know, you posted the pictures. Um, I saw your buddy Keyshawn Davis. He posted a little bit of footage. Um, I mean, I know you posted a little footage too, but not really the footage we wanted to see. You know, we we was hoping to see you on the mitts too. But um, how was that? Got, like, how I was it in, working? I got it in my phone. I got it in my phone. But oh, what's up, bro? Come on, man. We can we get a little sneak peek on fight <laughs> hype. Give us a little some some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I be holding out sometimes, but nah, it was amazing working with Floyd. Uh, you know, it, it was amazing to see his reflexes still sharp. Uh, I was testing his conditioning while we was on the mitts. I kept, like, trying to step to him and, like, work on the inside and just test his conditioning to see, like, where he at right now. But uh, nah, it was amazing. <laughs> uh, he, he was teaching me a lot of stuff that I ain't been taught before. That, that Well, I've been taught certain stuff. But like it's like he like reminded me, like he reminded me of like old things of like stuff that when I was younger that I used to do. Mm, mm. Is it like when you're when like when you're working with him? Um, is it like a um like do you feel like you pick up on just like little nuances, like like little things that kind of like help tighten up your game? Uh yeah, for sure. Um. It was a lot of little things he was saying. Like, it'd be, like, the little small stuff that he was saying that kind of, like, stuck with me. Like, uh, when I got back to where I'm at now, um, I went back in the gym and I just worked on a lot of stuff he was saying. I can't put it out there. I don't want to tell nobody because they're going to steal my game. So I was going to I was gonna ask you. I was going to ask if you just had, like, a, just a little, just a little nugget of what he might have told you. But I figured I figured you wouldn't give us anything. But Nah, but the thing with him was it's like our chemistry was kind of good like it was weird like because i don't i'm not like no big person that do mix mm. like i'm not i ain't never really been a mix kind of person but i'm just like i'm just now like starting to like like mix but when i started doing mix with him it's like the chemistry was there like mm. my rhythm and his rhythm seemed kind of like the same like it seemed like we i knew a lot of the stuff he was saying already like i understood everything he was saying and, and it processed in my brain really well you know, when you talk about the rhythm, is 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 it just like the rhythm in your hands? Is it the rhythm in your feet, the way you guys are moving to? It's just like we we caught the same rhythm, I want to say. Like, like I watch so much Floyd, where it's like certain things he's telling me to do, I already done seen it before. Like, I done seen him do it. I, I understand exactly what he's saying, so it kind of clicked to me fast, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I get what you mean. Like, I know a lot of times when they talk about, um, you know, like really, really great fighters, you know, who who turn into trainers and and they want to teach, you know, other people. Sometimes it's hard for them to kind of, you know, get them to do what they want to do because, you know, they 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 just might have they might have had those special reflexes that the other person couldn't do. Um, obviously, it doesn't sound like you had any problems with picking up on anything. Nah, because, like, certain styles, like, I do miss with somebody with a certain style. They got a certain style that works for them. Mm. But, like, with Floyd, it's not just um offense. It was, like, 
defensive stuff and a lot of things where it's like uh that could work for me. So it's like normal stuff, like stuff that my grandfather do. I tell I'll tell you a little little something. It was like a pick stick that he kept saying, which my grandfather called uh, a catching stick. Mm. So uh, it's the same thing, like same philosophy, but um, it I don't, it just felt good to be reminded about certain things. Uh, that's that's I think our chemistry was really great, and I enjoyed working with uh, Floyd Mayweather. That's what's up. That's kind of that that that's that old school knowledge. Like when you mentioned your grandfather and everything, that's uh. Yeah. That's rare. Like that's 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 that little special thing that a lot of other fighters coming up, they might not have that lineage. You know what I'm saying? Like they might not have that that old school knowledge. And and I, I think that's what separates the great fighters from the good ones. The good from the average is is that teaching. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, that's a good look. That's a good look. Yo, when 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 you were when you did get in there and, and had a chance with Floyd, I mean, I know everybody has their own thing and and you know, you gotta be you. You're not trying to be him or anything like that. But I gotta ask, did you did you like ask him for any secrets to the shoulder roll? Nah, I ain't really asked him for uh too many secrets to the so shoulder roll because I'm a southpaw and he mm -hmm. like an orthodox and I don't know. I just feel like my shoulder roll and his shoulder roll are different because it come from like a different angle. So like with him, he's he's orthodox. He's fighting nine times out of ten. He's gonna fight another orthodox fighter. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'm a southpaw. I'm really fighting orthodox fighter. It just come from like a different angle, I guess. But I ain't really I ain't really asked him too much about that. But um, a lot of stuff that he did show me, I appreciate it, and I'm definitely uh definitely gonna uh, learn some more and work with him again. That's what's up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Again? Again? Yo, actually, I noticed he posted a little uh, a comment on your post. Uh, just getting started. What, I mean, what's that mean? What's that? You Are you, you giving it? You dropping us? You dropping us a scoop right now? Nah, I ain't dropping no scoop. It's just, I'm, just <laughs> learning, I'm learning from a goal. I'm learning from a great one. Uh, True that. I'm one of them guys. I like to pick up knowledge from like everywhere I can. So um, just like if I'm talking to Dre, I, I, love, I love to get knowledge from Andre Ward, if I'm talking to Bud, I love to get knowledge from Bud. Um, same thing with Floyd. I just like learning from all the greats and seeing like the, some of the stuff that they use uh, when they out there. You know, when you talk to all three of those guys, Dre, Bud, Floyd, uh, do you do you see a lot of similarities in in you know just their their characteristics, just their their drive, just their you know competitiveness and stuff like that? Yeah, I was just about to say, there's one thing that I do see in all of them. Um, that's similar. I feel like it's the competitiveness. I feel like every last one of them is like super competitive, and you can tell like all of them hate losing. And kind of like with Bud, Bud more than anybody. Like Bud is like top tier when it comes to like hating to lose. So, mm. um, but I, I see a lot of similarities with them. Uh, they they like they're older, but they younger. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. like they young minded, like. Their body seem young because it's like they still like doing a lot of young things. They still how Floyd just did power with me and Keyshawn back to back to back to back several rounds, no break. Um, Terrence he played basketball, ping pong, like they all active and you could just tell like their bodies is a lot younger than um you would think. Like you would think like somebody being older that they wouldn't be as active as they are, but they're definitely uh, very active.